what was the determining factor that got you interested in this field? Radiology is one of the specialties that's really a determinant of health and it's really the driving factor in uh, survival in, in developed countries and it's, it's one of the, the things that we don't have access to in, in, uh, in developing countries. And as a medical student, I, uh, I realized that uh, radiology was one of the, the less developed uh, parts of the healthcare sector. Uh, and I wanted to be a part of, uh, of making a difference in that. I had some uh, uh, healthcare issues with my, my family. And, um, it really became clear to me that radiology was the, the linchpin, the, the missing link in uh, um, you know, really treating people that are at the, the end of the spectrum of the very, very sick. Where you, any time is where you taught, how am I gonna get this done? Am I gonna be able to? Uh, the level of uh, expertise that they expect at a uh, fellow level, uh, you were really expected to uh, just be able to work from the first day. Uh, and it was difficult transitioning for a country where we don't do much of uh, you know, what they do there. And uh, you know, I had to make the adjustment. Um, where, where I was in uh, Canada, and I, I don't like to be those people that, you know, back in Canada, <laughs> right? But, you know, really there, uh, it's, it's really a different world. Uh, people have tumors in the liver, they have spread from their breast cancer, the other cancers, and we treat them and they get better and they live. Right? They live for years with, without, uh, you know, with, without cancer. And um, really that's almost a death sentence here. How do you intend to imp improve the quality of um, the healthcare here? Some of the things that um, we're hoping to get the ball rolling with sooner rather than later is uh, treatment of peripheral vascular disease. Mm -hmm. So um, patients that experience that a lot are diabetics and uh, people that smoke. It's very exciting uh, to have such a, a skilled staff, someone trained in interventional radiology. What it does effectively for our surgical departments and other departments is that a lot of the things that we would have otherwise had to do surgically or open the body or a limb, we can now do in an endovascular or a, um, a minimally invasive percutaneous way.